Hi guys, today I want to show you how to hide rows or columns in Excel using VBA. It's really easy. It's your lucky day because I'm starting to give tutorials now on Excel using VBA or Excel's own functions. It's really useful. Once you learn it, you will be on top of everybody else in terms of productivity. So without any further ado, let's start the process. So let's define a row. This, let's say this is my first row. This is my first row and second one. Okay, so we got these two rows and we want to hide some columns as well. Let's say my column one, my column one. Let's hide just one column for this example. So we got these two rows and a column and we want to say uh, yes or no for example so let's quickly define yes or no yes or no then we select a cell then we go to the data then we go to the data validation data validation then we go to a list select source select these two okay you don't really have to do this you you could do it without a uh, drop down list but let's say let's say you want to have a drop down list hide rows four and five it's a question so and we got yes or no yeah here don't forget that yeah okay so what we have to do next is to go to the developer in the developer we need to go to visual basic when we go to visual basic select sheet one and then start typing what I'm typing okay type private then write sub then write work sheet underscore change by val target as range close enter let's define a dimension key cells as range enter set key cells is equals to range okay now where it was our yes or no you need to go back here it was b1 yeah b1 so write b1 close bracket enter enter if not application dot intersect okay key cells comma range target dot address okay close close is nothing then enter if okay <laughs> key cells is equals to yeah if is equals to yes then what we want to do hide some rows rows which rows now we need to go back there and check which rows we want to hide we said row number four and five so it's easy it's easy guys four double cut five five yeah close this hidden is equals to true yeah enter else rows okay now we need to unhide it because if it is no we want it to be unhidden if you don't write this then you would not be able to unhide it easily okay so false and if once and if twice 
that's it guys this is as easy as that and you could do the same thing for for what for columns now we are back here yeah we are back here and let's put this into test we select now let's say yes oh I want to say yes yes and it's gone as simple as that and I said no it's back as simple as that and you could do easily the same thing with the column the only difference is for column uh, let's say we want to hide that column column C what we got to do if when it's yes column C to hide so we go here and we add that as well so what we have to write is columns yeah C just C dot hidden is equals to true you need to also not forget to apply the same here to make it visible once it's gone so now we are hiding columns and rows together all you need to go is back there we said no but let's say yes and they are gone they all just disappeared it's guys it's as simple as that it's easy VBA is easy Excel is easy once you get your grips on it it's easy so I'm posting a lot of tutorials now on Excel because I want to make you guys educated <laughs> educated in terms as to be more productive in this uh, time of that technologies are more and more uh, advanced and we need to really use them I also would put a link to this spreadsheet uh, so that you could download it and run it yourself um, and copy paste the codes if you want but I suggest you to type it because it helps you to learn it better again thanks for watching and don't forget to share and subscribe and happy to help you anytime bye